Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my review of the MakeBlock X Lite Electronics Kit. It is an electronics kit that allows you to program numerous different things. There's a light box with multiple different types of acrylic that you can use to make night lights. I just dropped one on the floor. There's numerous, <laughs> a whole bunch of them. And there's also LED strips that you can use to light your walls. I'm going to show you a whole bunch of different applications. Also comes with what are called fairy lights. I use them to decorate a little Christmas tree and everything is programmable and I'm going to give you numerous demonstrations of how everything works and I have a lot to do so let's get into it. Alright so let's unbox this guy. It comes with a manual of course and inside the manual it shows you just right in the manual how to connect and go and go through all the different demo parts for the night light and both sets of LEDs. This is the base for the night light and it has 21 different LEDs inside of it that can create the animations. This right here is the control box and it has IR sensors on it so it can sense motion and react to light and this is where you plug everything in. This right here is an erasable highlighter and this is a controller that you can use to control your animations and all your programs. This is the fairy lights or the copper LED lights that I used on the Christmas tree that you saw at the beginning of the video. It comes with USB cable of course and then in the last box you're going to get all of your different pieces of acrylics. There are the LED strips, 100 LEDs on that, a little screwdriver, and then, like I said, a whole host of different acrylics, which I will show you as the video continues. And this is the app that you can download either on the Google or the Apple Play Store, and you just select x Lite, and then it's going to allow you to select which different uh, tool you want to work with. So which LED strip do you want to work with or the LED lights and also the base for the night light. And then what you can do, this is the night light and I'm just playing around making it just a simple gradient color. But of course you can add in different animations and it has five different types of acrylic and each of them has their own custom way that they animate. And you can see here is the dinosaur and it is actually animating the dinosaur based off of the external music that surrounds the device. And this is the rainbow and of course as I'm going to show you later on you're also going to be able to create custom programs and as you can see each individual piece of acrylic animates in completely different ways so it's pretty cool. And here is the little Christmas tree I decorated that's on my desk. And you can see also all the different same animations you saw before, but in a completely new format. And everything, again, is going to animate on its own or with the little controller that comes with it or the app or with your custom program. So lots of variety. And here are the copy LEDs separately animating if you just wanted to see them that way. And this is how I chose to use the LED strip. I put it behind my computer and it can have a little dance party in my room anytime I want. Again, the LED strip is also reacting and animating just based off of the ambient noise or the music that's playing in the background. And of course, you're going to be able to create your own custom animations. We are going to be able to just easily drag and drop like we've seen with many other different interfaces such as this. And we can go and define the number of LEDs for the night light. We can go and change colors for any of these lights. The LED strip has a very similar functionality as well as the LED string. So you're basically going to be able to change these lights, turn them on, turn them off in numerous different ways, create numerous different animations. We're going to be able to sense the loudness of the surroundings and have the animations react to those. There's also going to be motion sensors and you'll be able to, to trigger animations, whether turn the lights off, turn the lights on, all based off of motion sensors and different IR sensors that are built into the module. And then we're going to be able to trigger different events on our keyboard. And then we're going to be able to use all the most common looping functions that are available in every programming language. And you could even turn this into somewhat of a crazy looking calculator and numerous other different things. And I just wanted to give you a rundown of the capabilities which are nearly endless when it comes to creating custom animations. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It was a ton of fun to make. You know how much I enjoy going through and playing around with different electronics kits. And like always, please leave your questions and comments down below. Otherwise, till next time.